Hi everyone. Thought I'd come back today and work a little bit more in my art journal. So I wanted to do the inside pages front and back. And um, I was looking through some of the calendars that I got from a second hand store a while back and I came across this one. Uh, and all the illustrations in here are by Norman Rockwell. So, they're awesome. Just, just a few of them I'm going to show you. Yeah. I like them a lot. And I find them a little bit on the artsy side. So, this is the one I chose for this side. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the one I chose for this side. So, and I also wanted to say that what I did to the covers off camera after everything dried overnight is I, um, uh, I put, uh, goodness sakes, I varnished them. I put varnish on them. So they're, they're pretty shiny, but oh, they feel so nice and they're not sticky at all because I used, uh, it's uh, Delta Creative Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. And I, I put it on with one of these. It just worked like a charm. I love this stuff. So, I think I'm going to use just two colors. Uh, right at the moment and then I'm going to use some white after but right now I thought I would like to use burnt umber and antique white and they're both deco art paints so well this one's not open I'm having a great day today <laughs> I can't believe I don't have one open. And if I do, I don't want to go through a hundred paints to try and find it. So I'm just I'm just opening this one. The heck with it. And uh, I'd like to have a bit of a palette, I think. Just let me grab some palette paper. Boy, I'm really not prepared, am I? Uh, Here somewhere. Yeah, I found it, but under other stuff. Tracing paper and all kinds of goodies. So I'm just going to put my palette paper here and put out my stuff. I just need a little bit. Well, I've got two sides to do, so I'll put out that much. I might need more. And I'm also using, I think I told you, antique white. Now, I'm not sure if... Um, <clears throat> if the uh, color I've chosen the burnt umber is going to be uh, too dark. I don't know. We will see. Okay, I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit. And let's just take some. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I love that. Very much. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of the antique white now and sort of mix it in there. Basically, dry brushing. There is water on my brush. But I'm not 
loading up the paint on here. I really don't want to do that. So, <clears throat> I'm just going around the page basically and I'll come back with that antique white in a minute. This is going to be covered up anyways, I think most of it. Uh, I'm not sure how far down to the bottom it's going to go, but this it's not going to fill the page, my image. But I thought I would tear the image, so that's why I don't want to just have one color. And I wonder, I should have maybe glazed this. I don't know how it would look if I tried just wiping it back now. That would be great or not. Without glazing fluid. That's actually, I think that's kind of fun too. Don't be afraid to try new things in your journal. That's the thing. That's what they're for, is to just have fun. Unless, you know, you're kind of an expert at it, then, you know, go ahead. Um, it's been a while for me, so I'm going to dry this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's dry now. And um, I am just going to go here, but... I think, I think I want to tear a little bit. I don't want all this white here either. Oh, I like that very much. But I'm wondering if uh, it would look better on a lighter background. Hmm. Um, we could always test it, just see if we like it. Here's a, no, I'd rather it be like white or off-white, I think. Not sand. Uh, vanilla shake. Oh, I don't know. Let's just see what this is like. Well, that's lighter than the other one, so we'll see. So I'm just going to... Oh, my brush was dirty. That's why. Okay, just cleaning my brush. And um, I'm going to wipe this off because it's easy to now. Oh, it's still wet. Okay. And I'm just going to just come in here and do a light. Let's just see how that looks. Not laying it down, but see, I like that a little bit better. I 
think I like that. I'm going to make sure I wash my brush. Jeez, I keep forgetting. <laughs> okay, I got to dry again. I'll be right back. Okay, it's dry. So, I'm going to get my glue brush. I just need a piece of paper towel. Because I always keep my glue brush in water. Um, let's move these aside. My glue brush. So I'm going to use matte medium to put it down. Just gonna slather it on. Because I don't know exactly where it's going, I'm just gonna put it on. And I also want to put it on the back of this. There's lots on there. Try and position it as best I can. <laughs> I love collage. I don't know about you, but I do. I like to glue things. I like to glue stuff. Okay, now I just want to give it a little bit more just so that it's good and wet. Then I'm going to get my I want to get my um, my card, making sure I don't have ridges. Try and get those those bubbles out as best I can. And we're doing not bad. So I got to dry again. I'll be right back. Okay, it's dry. Um, I want to kind of go around all the edges now with a bit of this color, maybe just with my fingers, just to kind of try this I'll be right back okay I'm back and it's dry and I really like how it turned out from the inside cover uh, it's a different feel than the cover that's for sure but that's okay it's a surprise right you see that you see the cover and then you open up to that I like it I like a surprise so, now we have to figure out something for the back page. And I was thinking, I kind of like this one. So 
some of them are kind of sad. And uh, I like this one too, but not for this book. Neither that. He's a sad boy. She doesn't look sad, but she's traveling, so... No, I think... I think I like this one. So... Oh, she comes. And... I think I'm just going to roughly... Okay, I'm back, and uh, I think I think at this point what I want to do is uh, I'm going to let it dry like overnight, and then I'm going to varnish the inside as well, like I did the outside. Um, it's a shocker, though. I have to admit that it's a shocker. Had I found these images before I did this front, I may have chosen the front differently. But it is what it is. It's varnished. I can't change it now. See, I, I shouldn't have varnished it and I could have done all kinds of changes. But I varnished it and I can't change it now. So, But it is kind of neat, and like when you look at the outside of the book. And you open up, and it's it's vintage on the inside. So that's almost uh, telling me that that's what the rest of the book is going to be. It will be vintage. So 
I have to find some awesome images if that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I could change it up. But anyway, that's uh, that's my inside covers. And I love them. I hope you do too. Talk to you soon. Bye now.